Good morning, and welcome to episode 130 of Getting Rich. I'm your host, Rich Checkin, President of Asset Strategies International, and today is Wednesday, July 5th, 2023. First off, wish everybody a belated happy birthday to the U.S. of A. Uh, Hopefully you had time to take the day off, spend time with family and friends, relax and enjoy our 274th birthday as a nation. Uh, Most of the country uh, is back now. Uh, After uh, taking off, uh, a lot of folks had a bridge weekend of four days and now we've come back for a three-day work week. Uh, Gold and silver showed some life on Monday, uh, ticking up slightly and then holding those gains through the trade shortened holiday week. Uh, The U.S. markets were closed for Independence Day, so it was light trading in the markets and gold and silver held on to their gains from Monday. However, there were a lot of calls from analysts for weak gold and silver prices through the end of the year. Uh, Contributing to those uh, sentiments are uh, rising bond yields, uh, the potential for further interest rate increases from the Fed, uh, and no imminent signs or immediate signs that the U.S. economy is collapsing under the weight of uh, the Fed's actions. This suggests that there will be continued pressure on gold and silver, certainly through the doldrums of the summer and potentially through the end of the year. Now, I know a lot of folks can debate whether or not there are uh, signs that the U.S. economy is cracking. I see them, others see them, uh, but right now, uh, everybody seems to feel confident that we're moving forward to maybe not a soft landing, but certainly not a crash due to the interest rate increases. Let's take a look at the gold and silver prices from the past week. Today, gold stands at 1,928.40 an ounce. That's up 1.1% from 1907.90 last week. Silver's up just under uh, one tenth, uh, just under one percent at 0.8 percent to 22.95 an ounce from 22.76 last week. Uh, platinum's up three dollars or 0.3 percent to 9.29 an ounce from 926 dollars an ounce last week, and palladium is down two dollars or 0.2 percent to 1,276 an ounce from 1,278 an ounce last week. Uh, With gold slightly outperforming silver, the gold-silver ratio, or number of ounces of silver it takes to buy an ounce of gold, has increased uh, to 84.39 from 84.15. And the U.S. dollar flexed a little bit of muscle. It's up to 103.12 from 102.57 on the index against its major trading partners. Uh, Make no mistake, folks, whether we're in summer doldrums or or doldrums to the end of the year, uh, the Fed is, in fact, coming to the end of their rope, if you will. They've got one, two uh, interest rate increases left in them if they go that far. Uh, They can't go much further. They have painted themselves in a corner. Uh, So I I see that coming to an end, and eventually gold and silver prices uh, will be kind of let loose and free to roam the the cabin, if you will. Uh, As a result, uh, in the meantime, we have attractive pricing. It gives you the opportunity to buy well, and that is further uh, exacerbated by the fact that the premiums on much of the popular uh, coins and bars in fabricated form are coming down. So you've got attractively low prices, you have lowering or falling premiums, uh, and you have an opportunity uh, for a little while, uh, for sure through the summer, maybe through the end of the year, to go ahead and collect uh, some more gold and silver for your position, build up your allocation, and to do so well. Uh, As always, we like you to go ahead and uh, sign up Uh, on the YouTube channel, uh, join us, Uh, go ahead and like us, send us your comments and questions, Uh, follow us on social media uh, at Asset Strategies International, sign up for our newsletters, monthly information line, which comes out tomorrow, uh, and the twice weekly Always Something Interesting alerts. But whatever you do, don't ever forget that getting rich starts with keeping what's yours.